to infinity and beyond. Buzz Lightyear, Star Command's most prolific space ranger. We're gonna help our friend out and try to achieve his dreams of flight. See, Buzz came programmed from the factory, believing he could fly. That reality was crushed, however, to the tune of I'll Go Sailing No More, performed by Randy Newman in Toast Story 1. What better way to do that than recreate the iconic scene with rocket propelled RC here? Even with the largest rocket motor available at the local hobby shop, an F motor, we don't have this kind of thrust. So we're gonna have to add wings and some control services in order to replicate this 1995 masterpiece. I'm gonna have to pause it there since the part without RC will be addressed later in the video. We're gonna get everything assembled and then go launch it, which will probably be tomorrow because it's dark out. Here we are mixing up some epoxy, gluing the RC to the PLA printed frame. And this is covering film and that thing is an iron. Uh, with heat, the glue on the back is activated as well as it shrinks the film to conform to the shape. This adds strength and a uh, good color, I think. If they aren't compound curves or sharp edges, it's quite relaxing. Uh, these are carbon fiber aero shafts. They glue in easily with standard CA or lightweight and rigid. And if you buy them in bulk, are a lot cheaper than just your carbon fiber rods you normally get. We reprinted the motor mount in order to move the weight farther forward. Generally, a plane that's tail heavy will not fly, and one that will nose heavy will get in the air with enough up elevator. We were airing on the side of the more flight worthy option here. There you go, sideways, buddy. Sorry, my dude. Here we are, ready to launch the rocket plane. The original plan was to have RC use its own power to go up these ramps and then hit the rocket motor with the remote. We must have left the batteries on because it didn't have enough torque to move it all. I dropped off the sawhorse earlier. So we had to reinforce the bottom of the camera mount with this, uh, the sideways Woody. So oh, look, it's a paramotor. And we added a little blast shield. So hopefully we don't just scorch Woody and Buzz. That would be a bummer. You test it on the ground first. Yeah! Bam. Oh, shit. The switch on the remote that's supposed to control the ignition. Well, it's always on, right? So we need someone to ignite this thing and all we have is electronic matches. The plan is connect it and then the other side I'll connect with a stick while I'm holding the remote. These will be my safety glasses. Do we, what's our longest stick? I think uh, that flight was decent as a starting point. Now in the scene, RC here gets ejected in the moving truck and Buzz and Woody continue up on the rocket. So that's the next thing we want to recreate. To do that, this is going to need some alterations, which will also give us the ability to fix this tail shredding issue and uh, lighten it up a little so we really get some altitude. The rocket plane has been redesigned. We got foil on the back now so we don't just torch the tail. The G motor now we got loaded, it's got a six degree angle. That will also help the torching and give it a little bit of lift as it goes up. We've ditched RC car as true to the scene. We got Buzz and Woody still here. Everything balanced out and ready to go. I'm testing the igniter. Hmm. Once again, I should have checked the igniter before I left, but I got these backup fuses that are coated in flash powder that can ignite the composite rocket motors. Okay, let's go back to where we paused before so we can watch the second part of this scene in order to refresh on what we're trying to recreate here. Our roll is oscillating pretty heavily back and forth. This is my first time using gyros in a plane, so I think the PIDs need a bit of tuning. Also, shout out to Jerry. He gave me the G motor back in 2015, so I'm glad it still works. Under the tree, the 
Snap the wings. The foil, plus whatever moisture was on here, prevented any damage to the tail. And most importantly, our payload of Woody and Buzz is safe. If anyone's still watching, let me know. Did we achieve Buzz's dream of flight? Or are there additional criteria we need to meet to make that happen?